Greg, a really big three points there against Barry Town. Massive three points. I mean, that's all that uh, that's all we came down for at the end of the day. Obviously, it's always nice to put in a good performance as well. But um, you know, bottom line is you need you need three points. Uh, hung on a little bit, you know, uh, and they had some good chances in the first half. Obviously, we scored, went two 0 ahead, um, and then when they back, pegged us back to two all. Um, you know, we were looking a bit shaky. We didn't start well after half time at all. So I went to two all and uh, yeah, to, to go to come back and sort of respond the way we did and uh, go on and win the game was yeah unbelievable. And just just said in there, you know, it was, it was the work rate really that won us that game. Um, you know, when you can't play pretty football and the performance isn't there, you, you make sure that your work your work rate's top notch and, and that's what got us over the line today. <clears throat> Emily Ridge hat trick. She should play more often. She should play more often. It's. Yeah, unbelievable. You know, it's, um, spoke to her, spoke to her a couple of days ago, just on the off chance that you know she she fancied coming and having a game because obviously we got a couple of players out, Platy suspended, and uh, you know, fortunately she was obviously wasn't very busy today, so she's come and shown shown why she should be playing week in week out. Scored three goals, you know, th three goals just being in the right place at the right time. That's what she's done for so long now, and that's why she scored so many goals and. That's why she's got so many goals left in her, you know, hopefully that gives us sort of the, the, the encouragement to carry on, come back next week and go and do the same again because she's still got years left in her if she wants to. What were you saying to the players at half-time after conceding that goal from a set-piece, which made it 2-1? Yeah, the goal, the goal was frustrating because this is the only way they were going to score. They've obviously got a dangerous set-piece taker who, you know, causes problems every time you play and she's got great delivery and that's, that's what it comes from, giving away silly free kicks. I said before the game, you know, you can't give away silly free kicks or corners because they'll, they'll hurt us. Um, having said that, you know, we were in a good position to defend it. We just didn't get good enough contact on, you know, obviously sort of flicked it on ourselves into the back of our own net. So it's a bit of a mix up really. But other than that, I thought we defended them really well. Libby made some great saves, saves in goal. Um, but yeah, coming back to half-time team toy, it was just more keep doing what's working for us. You know, Caitlin was having a field day down there on the right-hand side. Just keep giving her the ball, getting in the box. That's where a lot of our goals come from. Um, and like I say, we stopped doing it in the second half. They they came out and they improved a little bit. But you know, really, we should be winning that game a lot more comfortably than than what we did. You know, once once we went two 0 ahead, <clears throat> it did look a bit uneasy when it was two two in the second of forty five. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, like I say, we just didn't come out after half time, and it, and it wasn't really until they equalised that we suddenly suddenly woke up a little bit and started playing again. And uh, yeah, like I say, to, to to come back and and win the game after being two all from a 2-0 uh, lead is, uh, it was a great effort I didn't see it coming I'll be honest I was uh, I was worried myself to be honest um, but yeah they kept going and uh, you know we got to serve three points in the end based on how well we done in the first half <coughs> and we already talked about Emily Ridge a lot she's probably learned a few things off yourself over the years uh, she'll probably tell you that I've learned off her to be honest um, no nah, she's listened every, everyone knows what Ridgie's good at she knows what she's good at she does the basics very well just gets herself in the right place at the right time which is in the six yard box in between the goal posts and you score goal after goal after goal if you keep doing that and that's what she's done and uh, just surprised she lasted so long to be honest it's the first time she's kicked a ball this season she's managed to leave, land, managed to get 85 minutes so um, we were made up with that because you know to be honest I was expecting half time or 60 minutes max we have to be taking her off but obviously the two goals sort of gave her a bit of uh, adrenaline and she was able to keep going a bit longer and obviously got the hat trick which I think is the first hat trick we've scored in the in in the league um, this season and, and last season so you know couldn't think of a more worthy player getting that hat trick for you know for all the goals and what she's done for the club over the god knows how many years that she's been in how important does it get to to get to three points here when in the past last season it was such a tricky place for us to go these are our bogey team aren't they I think we've only beaten them once um, you know out of what, I don't know six or seven times that we've played them obviously beat them once last year when it was a, a must win game um, for, so for some reason they're a bit of our bogey team you know but getting three points on the road against anyone um, is a great effort you know so uh, but particularly against your bogey team. So, um, like I say, uh, the three points was, was all that mattered at the end of the day. We got it and uh, everyone's very, very happy. Another big game at home next week, Ponty Reed. Yeah, Ponty, they obviously haven't played today. I think they play a little bit later on. Um, but if I remember rightly, uh, the league table, if, if we win that next week, we go above them as well. So, uh, you know, that's again, that's it, three points. But, you know, we'll be looking for a bit better, a bit better performance um, because I know that when we do play well, there's not many teams uh, that will live with us. So few things to work on in training this week, but I'd say that result will be massive for us and it'll give everyone a huge amount of confidence.